As most of you requested, in this series of videos I will talk about how to get the best out of a more or less typical residential room, starting with three ways to improve your recording space without spending any money. Or almost. First and most importantly, you need to find the best sounding sitting position in your room, as almost any change that you will have to make to improve the sound will depend on this. Even when I do on location recordings where I don't have as much control over the room, finding the sweet spot always pays off. So no matter if you can or even want to apply any acoustic treatment in your space, Experiment with the sitting position to find what works best in your room. In a more or less rectangular room, wait. I would avoid any of the corners, but also I wouldn't sit near the walls. The center of the room is never the sweet spot, but I prefer to move two-thirds to three-fourths a bit off-center and facing the front wall at a slight angle instead of straight on. Experiment with a few different positions. You can either record yourself or have someone else play with your guitar and move them around. Let's move to the second way to improve the sound of your room. I'm sure that you all have lots of books. So build yourself a bookshelf at the front wall, that's here, and put there all sorts of books, thin, thick, soft cover, hard cover, anything. Place the books at different depths on the shelves and experiment with positioning. Paper has reflective and absorbing qualities at no cost and more pleasing aesthetics than acoustic panels, you can treat your front-facing wall. The third thing you can do to tame the sound of the room just a bit more is to use a carpet. The size of the carpet will depend on the size of the room, but you need at least to cover the space, the area between you and the microphones. Perhaps a bit larger than that, but don't cover the whole floor. And lastly, a bonus tip, apart from the bookshelf and the carpet and some acoustic panels or bass traps that we will talk about them in future videos, as well as other essentials like you and your guitar and the chair, try keeping the furnishing of the room as minimal as possible. These ideas should be easy to apply, so experiment with them and let me know in the comments about your experiences. If you want to read more about this, I will put a link in the description with a written article. That's it for today, stay inspired, keep exploring and remember to do good with your music. Until the next time.